Welcome to your AFN Korea 2-Minute Report. I'm Air Force Sergeant Jeff Howerton. All kinds of things are sent by mail. Presents, care packages, and letters from loved ones. Specialist Craig Dixon shows us the Yongsan Main Post Office is always on the lookout and training for when that other package arrives. Tis the season for giving and receiving gifts from loved ones. Being on Yongsan means most of those gifts will go through the Yongsan main post office. It also means the postal workers are extra careful in looking out for suspicious packages. If they would encounter something like this, they, they know what actions to take to protect themselves and protect others. And also it's a, it was a good opportunity for the firefighters to practice their skills and you know sampling you know, product sampling and identification. During the exercise, a package filled with a white substance was put in for sorting in the mailroom. Specialist Cozy Green found the item. It did make me very nervous. My adrenaline was definitely going. You see a white substance coming out of any package or anything that you're standing near, you're going to get very anxious and you just want to get everyone away from it. Dealing with a suspicious package involves more than the post office, military police, Department of Emergency Services, the Yongsan Fire Department, and other agencies also took part in the exercise. The idea of them getting trained up and uh, knowing how to recognize a suspicious package and what actions to take in the event they encounter uh, a, a package, uh, that was relatively good. Exercise officials said it all comes down to training. Knowing what to do in a situation like this makes the difference between life and death. Specialist Craig Dixon, Yongsan, Korea. Exercises like this one will take place at other post offices in Korea. That was your AFN Korea 2-Minute Report. I'm Air Force Sergeant Jeff Howerton.